Chantal Mulrow and I'm the principal at Diedrich Primary School. I'm neighbors with Sean and Rose. Um, I'm their feeder. A lot of our learners go to their school and this is my amazing partner, business partner. <laughs> Please, that's important, business Absolutely. partner. Absolutely. My business partner, Helen Gallant. Okay, so how did I start? Why did I join uh, PFP? Um, just like Sean, I was part of the General Motors South Africa Foundation for a very, very long time. And I bumped into Kathy Shaw one day in Greenacres and I told her that I'm principal now and she was quite excited about it. So I think when you started with this group, she immediately contacted me and she said, uh, would you like to join? And I didn't even ask what it was about. Mm -hmm. I know if it's Kathy Bell Shaw, it can only be good. So I immediately jumped in. I had no expectations. I came in with an open mind and I was excited. Obviously, principals are hustlers. I just told Clive now we are hustlers. So I was hoping to get some sponsors. I was hoping Helen will connect me to, to, to some people that will be able to give us stuff. You know, we always want things. So we're always in need of, of things. So, and then the other thing what, that what is important for me was the uh, the role of the business and the parents. I was hoping that we would in some way get the businesses to understand the role of the parents and the importance of parental involvement in schools. So that's basically why I got involved. Why did you get involved? Because I was there. Tell it made me. I think um, part of it was just being able to look at the education um, arena from a different perspective being involved in adult or young adult learning and then doing it from you know, seeing it from the primary school level because i think as a lecturer or facilitator it, it, i kind of was quite dismissive of teachers you know look at these teachers look what they've sent me you know it's kind of like blaming instead of saying how can i change it or what are they actually facing so that was quite big for me just to learn something new the bus <laughs> Well, See how they love her? They gave her presents. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's us. Okay, are we there already? The we? Okay, yeah. So what have I learned from my partner? Um, Helen really, being a new principal, um, Helen really boosted my confidence. Uh, I didn't know any better. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she, she made me realize that I should see myself in a more positive way. It was very hard on myself mm -hmm. being in a new position. So obviously she was always just a phone call or WhatsApp away. Uh, in a quiet way, I knew she was there and that really, really helped <laughs> me. Quiet. quiet way. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I think that is, uh, the confidence is the thing that stood out for me the most from our partnership. Mm. Yeah. For you. I, I think it's also just about, you know, learning that when you trust, when someone trusts you, you can trust yourself more, you know, and the, the, the time and the patience that it actually takes to, to invest in a new relationship and the benefits you get from it. Mm. You know, because I think as you get older, or as I get older, I'm less wanting to make new friends or form new relationships because it's of all the effort. And that's something that really stood out for me now was you were worth the effort. <laughs> oh, of course I was. <laughs> I think the one thing also, Jillian, that stood out for me from our friendship or our partnership is um, how much resources we had in our school, in our staff. Yeah. A lot of the projects involved money. And then Helen made me actually realize that you have some at your school. You don't need money. You just have to find them at school. So a lot of the projects that we, that I thought was going to like take a lot of money actually didn't cost us anything like the cleaning up operation. Uh, it actually didn't cost us yep. anything because all our resources were at, at school. school. So that was also, that was something that was also good. Thanks Very Helen good. for that. Yeah. And the next step? There you go. Oh, Helen, you talk about the strong partnership, do you, please? <laughs> I think the thing is, it's about that vision that we had. Like we often told you guys about how we were sitting at the coffee shop and the next thing we had to like write, make notes, take minutes, you know? 
And I think that strategic vision, um, the fact that we you now like to win, I was the first one, we were the best, <laughs> that we started doing things before COVID even hit. And we were making these plans, you know, and we were doing things with, you know, almost, how do we call it? You know, it just happened. So, and that was great. And now we've got this whole plan of action, you know, so whether it happens, it doesn't matter that it didn't happen this year, it's there and it's broken down into manageable little chunks that we'll be able to do. And Chantal will be able to do them whether I'm there or not. Yeah. So it's great. It's, an, it's actually a roadmap that's already there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, and then the various trainings, oh, we've spoken a lot about how they have been mm. used. Yeah. And I think, you know, I mean, you can read. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> now that she has a chance to speak, she wants you to read. I mean, really? Solid must be you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Is it you? Yeah. 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 I think um, the thing about the listening, really. Huge. I don't know. It's huge. Uh -huh. I, it's really huge for me. Uh, I, like Rose said, there's always that one person that you listen to, Sean, but you don't listen. I really listen now. Mm. I listen. And I've learned a lot by listening to the teachers. And when you listen and you don't talk, then they start internalizing. They, they almost start becoming quiet. And I find that it works a lot, especially in the SMT meetings, where you are trying to look for solutions and you know how you are that one person almost like, mm -mm, forcing mm -mm. them to uh -uh, come up with ideas. Inside. Now they are digging inside themselves and they mm. come up with solutions and that is what you want. And letting go of your power is actually not so bad, Sean. It takes <laughs> off a lot of... I, I, she was actually, when she mentioned it to me, that when she mentioned that I gave away my power, I was like, oh, no, I don't <laughs> want to give my power away. And then she's like, but you didn't even know it. Mm. And it actually feels good, Sean, because when you're not there and everything is going good, then you know it was worth giving your power away, right? So it was actually a good thing as well. Mm. Yeah, so we do have a lot of projects that we haven't. That was our award ceremony last year. <coughs> the gentleman next to me there is Mr. Harold Wilson. He was the second principal at our school. He's over 90 years old and he can still tell you the rugby match between who and who in 1960 what and what the score was. He will tell you exactly who played in what position. So he's quite an asset to us, yeah. Um, so we have um, a lot of projects that's not done, like all of you here, that we will definitely complete next year. And I'm quite excited. I'm inviting you to that launch with the alumni, right? You're going to be there. Yeah, so thank you, Jillian, for having us. Thank you for introducing me to this wonderful lady. Can't imagine what the life would have been without me. So thank you for a that. Desolate <laughs> desert. <laughs> and thank you to everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was a wonderful journey. I Happy. wish it could have been a more memorable one. But it was good. And I'm grateful for the opportunity. Mm. Thanks. Yes. And thank you to you, Ellen. Thank you to you. <laughs>